We are back with another little tribute video of Doggone Gold. He's got one hell of a good looking sticker here. Um, I want a bag from him. It was a subscriber giveaway, I thought. Um, here's this bag that I want from him. He sent me this and a gold, little gold vial, um, a pan. So, I mean, he really did it right. You know, he sent all the gear to be able to pan the stuff out also. So that's a good deal. I'm gonna pour some of this in this pan. Pour about half of it in there. It doesn't look like it's a uh, big, big material. I uh, don't think I need to classify it, uh, but we'll get to stratifying it here. I was shocked um, that I won on his channel. This is pretty good looking material. It's your typical Washington looking type stuff. Creek material. Man, I, you know, I live down here in New Mexico and gosh, I, you know, sometimes I see these guys' videos, doggone videos, GS prospecting videos, uh, Gold Hunter 77s in Oregon, I'm pretty sure. But man, that's just beautiful up there. And uh, I'm thinking you guys got a lot bigger nuggets and things like that up there in your neck of the woods than my neck of the desert down here. I'm always out there looking and looking and looking, but I, I just don't have the creeks and I got to drive uh, 15, 20 miles just to find a little old, barely a creek, barely dripping water. Put some soap in here. It looks like I might have put a little bit too much. I guess that's all right. Some people say if you put in too much soap, it kind of screws it up, I guess. I'm really not too sure. That real fine gold, that real flat stuff, real light stuff, leafy type gold. Ah, it'll float on the top of the water. Lots of black sands in here, guys. Get most of this panned out of here. And we'll throw the rest of the bag in. Pretty much sure I caught all that. Let me throw the rest of this bag in and we'll get to the bottom of it. Get everything back down towards the bottom. Do a little tilty tilt towards the front here. A little bump shake. Gotta go back to work tomorrow. Today's Sunday. Back to the grind. Never a dull moment over there. Been looking for some claims. I think I, I found some a piece of property that uh, looks pretty promising. So I just gotta work with some people and maybe try to figure out how to get the property of course i'd have to go over there and stake it and draw the map and do all of the things that i need to do last summer i was pretty successful at one of the claims below there so yeah i think if i can get closer to the source that might be that might work pretty good so you guys have to wish me luck on that one. We'll see. 20 acres, so pretty sure I have to have... Oh, there's a piece of gold right there poking out. Tell you what, guys. I'm going to... I'm going to throw this on a little bit of fast forwarding. Uh, I'm going to get some rid of some of these bigger rocks that I didn't classify out. And uh, I'll be back here in a few. down pretty close to the end here I turned the pan over and saw a whole bunch of gold in there but doggone's got a pretty good channel guys you ought to go over there and go check him out uh, he's got some pretty cute pups uh, that he that 
chum around with him pretty much everywhere he goes, kind of like mine. Shoot, today I just went and uh, cut mine down. I groom her myself. Um, sometimes it's, <clears throat> it's like shoot and pull. Some days you can do it, some days you're just not worth a damn at shoot and pull. Well, that's the same way with grooming her. Some days it is easy to do. Uh, other days she fights me all the whole damn time. Today happened to be one of the easy days, so that was good. But I'll tell you what, this heavy stuff in the bottom of this pan is uh, pretty challenging. Uh, some of this gold is really starting to walk its way down. Maybe I'll go drag her over here in a second so you guys can be the judge of how I did on her on her haircut. She is a Chiwini. So some half wiener dog, half Chihuahua. I take her with me everywhere I go. She goes with me to the office. She goes with me to the claims. Um, she's my little buddy. Look at all that doggone gold right there. Man, that's some pretty stuff. And uh, from what I understand, you know, this is a pay dirt bag, but he, I don't know that he sells pay dirt bags. Um, this was just a giveaway. Um, you know, this is, this is gold that is wild caught. He had to go out to the creeks and rivers. This isn't something bought from a wholesaler that he makes bags in, so makes bags of so this is um gold that he went out and broke his back to to catch um and you can see that this is different gold than my gold here this stuff is uh yeah it's all flattened out it's real nice and smooth it's been rolling in a river and getting worn down all of the stuff i find around here is usually pretty jagged pretty rough yeah it's rolled down some some creeks or something but not not like a rushing huge river that he's got over there and half the gold i find are in old dried up washes so they're pretty rough and jagged but real pretty gold holy moly i mean this stuff is bright yellow really good looking stuff but there it is guys there's the doggone gold right there hopefully that camera picks it up pretty good um but i'll get this stuff snuffered up we'll take it over to the scale see about what this all this stuff weighs you never know folks will go in they'll add a half gram right for the prize but uh you never know what's in the existing dirt. So, yes sir. I'll get this all cleaned up and cleaned out, guys. I'll see you over at the scale. Appreciate it, doggone, for the, for the prize. You're out there rocking it, man. Take care, guys, and I'll see you at the scale. Here we are, and it's all about that guy right there, doggone gold. Um, got the scale all teared out. Let's see what we ended up with here out of these winnings. Ended up with 0.67, so that was more than what he was talking about in the beginning. Um, that the prize was only 0.50. So that's a little bit more than what uh, he said was going to be in there. Um, but uh, anytime I'm panning for gold and, uh, and you end up finding some, even if it was just some winnings, it's all good. So guys, once again, doggone, thanks for uh, the prize. Appreciate it. I'll wrap pack this stuff off. 
Um, ladies and gentlemen, have yourself a good day, afternoon, or evening. Would appreciate it if you guys would smash out that subscribe button. Everybody take care. Gold Pan and Suntan is out.